Today, uh, I'll be talking about the uh, hemoglobinopathies and uh, thalassemias. Hemoglobinopathies result due to a, a defective sequence of amino acids in the alpha chain or the beta chain of hemoglobin. More prevalent is the uh, sequence change in the beta uh, globin chain as very rare changes are seen in the alpha chain. The examples of hemoglobinopathies include sickle cell hemoglobin uh, which is known as uh, which results in the sickle cell anemia. Uh, then there is um, HBC, uh, another one is uh, HBE and a fourth one is HBD. Now yet another one would be the uh, HBM uh, mutations. Out of this, uh, HBS is uh, seen maximum in populations like uh, African population and also in some parts of uh, Eastern India and also in the Mediterranean countries. Now, uh, due to the slave trade, the Africans have been uh, transported to various European and other countries. So this particular gene has spread to other areas also. Now the molecular defect in HBS is that the, uh, in the beta chain, the uh, normal amino acid is uh, glutamic acid on the uh, sixth position. Uh, and in the HBS, this uh, glutamic acid is uh, replaced by valine um, amino acid. Now, glutamic acid is an acidic amino acid and valine is a neutral amino acid. Now, these amino acids actually remain on the periphery of the beta globin uh, gene, uh, chain, uh, polypeptide chain, uh, and hence uh, there will be a reaction. Uh, of these molecules. Now due to this, uh, one hemoglobin S molecule uh, develops a sticky patch which can interact with uh, the sticky patch of a second uh, HBS molecule and the second HBS molecule further interacts with the sticky patch of the third hemoglobin, uh, hemoglobin S molecule and uh, this uh, chain reaction continues. And this is known as the polymerization of uh, HBS and this results in the uh, change of shape of the RBC due to precipitation of this HBS molecule. Now the uh, shape of the RBC becomes uh, sickle shaped and uh, the sickle shaped RBC especially when they pass through the um, narrow capillaries uh, there is a forceful uh, flow of the blood and due to this this uh, sickle cell RBCs are liable to get hemolyzed and uh, the hemoglobin comes out of these RBCs and this will be broken down to heme and globin and the heme part after removal of the ion can be converted to the bile pigments that is uh, biliverdin and bilirubin and hence this may lead to hemolytic jaundice also. Uh, not only this, um, they also can, uh, this, uh, uh, this sickle cell RBCs can also uh, obstruct the blood flow and uh, may cause necrosis of the tissues lead, uh, as a result of ischemia. Uh, and so thrombus formation uh, may take place. So infarction uh, can result. Uh, this, um, uh, this also stops the blood supply to the tissues and so uh, there will be chronic pain uh, all over the body uh, and also it can lead to uh, infections uh, and this may lead to the use of antibiotics. So these are some of the symptoms of uh, sickle cell anemia and, uh, uh, and uh, this may require antibiotic uh, uh, treatment uh, also. Now uh, the fact is that the sickle cell hemoglobin uh, is also uh, can exist in either homozygous state or uh, the heterozygous state. In the heterozygous state, the 
50% uh, of the hemoglobin molecules are HbA and uh, the remaining 50% is the HbS. And in the homozygous state, uh, all of the molecules of uh, hemoglobin are HbS. Now, the heterozygous state is also known as uh, HbS trait and the homozygous state is known as the sickle cell disease. Now, uh, the sickle cell trait patients can lead a near to normal life, but uh, their progeny, uh, if they marry uh, another person uh, with the HBS trait, uh, will be uh, having uh, this particular disease in 25% of the children, and 25% of the children will be normal, and 50% uh, of the children uh, will be again having a trait. And so, they are the uh, carriers of the disease to the next generation. Uh, it is also seen that uh, the sickle cell uh, anemia um, confers a biological advantage in areas where there is malarial infestation. The Plasmodium falciparum parasite requires RBC to complete its life cycle uh, but as the RBCs are hemolyzed before the uh, lifespan is completed, uh, the parasites also get destroyed. So it is found that in uh, those areas where there is uh, endemic uh, malarial infection present, this HBS uh, affords to give uh, protection. Now other uh, hemoglobinopathies include uh, HBC, uh, HBE and HBT. And as I told you, the next one is the uh, HBM, which is also known as uh, methemoglobin. Now, the uh, thalassemias are different from uh, hemoglobinopathies because, uh, because uh, the, here the hemoglobin uh, ha does not have any abnormal sequence. Uh, but here, uh, what is uh, lacking is the rate of synthesis of either alpha chain or the beta chain. The alpha chain, when it is less synthesized, it is known as alpha thalassemia and when the beta chain is synthesized less, it is known as beta thalassemia. Now, uh, there are uh, four uh, genes for the alpha globin gene and uh, uh, now if uh, two of them are deleted, it, it will be known as uh, alpha thalassemia minor and uh, if all the four are deleted, it will be known as alpha thalassemia uh, major. Uh, in this place, the beta globin gene, uh, the number of beta globin gene are uh, two, and if one is deleted, the, it will uh, lead to beta thalassemia minor, and if both the genes are deleted, it will lead to beta thalassemia uh, major. So, uh, as the fetal hemoglobin also requires uh, beta chains, um, at the time of birth, a child with uh, beta thalassemia major may uh, look normal, but uh, during the first year of life, uh, you know, uh, the beta thalassemia major uh, becomes worse because after the birth, the child uh, requires the beta globin uh, chain synthesis uh, in place of gamma chain, uh, which was present in the fetal life. So, that's all.